child evacuees from Afghanistan were on Tuesday entertained by U.S. soldiers at an airbase in Germany where they are currently being hosted. Children could be seen listening to a soldier playing the ukulele at Rammstein Air Base near Frankfurt. Others played in front of a large hangar usually used to store aircraft. According to UNICEF, 10 million children in Afghanistan are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance since the Taliban swept to power this month. The organization said it expects the humanitarian situation in a country to worsen due to a severe drought, the onset of winter and the coronavirus pandemic. Afghanistan is a country in crisis and those who are least responsible for it are paying the highest price. 10 million children are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance and uh, without immediate action, 1 million children under the age of five will be severely acutely malnourished by the end of the year. Still from Germany, German Chancellor Angela Merkel on Tuesday confirmed that the German presence and response to Afghanistan is ultimately in the control of the US. Natürlich, das will ich nochmal betonen, haben die Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika hier die Führung. Ohne die Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika können wir zum Beispiel die anderen, die Evakuierungsaktion nicht weiterführen. Das muss man ganz klar wissen. Und so wie wir diese Evakuierungsaktion jetzt einheitlich gestalten, wollen wir auch das weitere Vorgehen im Umgang mit Afghanistan weiter einheitlich gestalten. At the same time, President Joe Biden vowed to work in close cooperation with the U.S. allies to support refugees and evacuees currently fleeing Afghanistan. Biden stated that he will stick with his August 31 deadline for finishing a U.S.-led evacuation. Cooperation with our closest partners on our enduring counterterrorism mission will continue to be an essential piece of our strategy. In short, we all, all of us agreed today that we're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with our closest partners to meet the current challenges we face in Afghanistan, just as we have for the past 20 years. We're acting in consultation and cooperation with our closest friends and fellow democracies. <laughs>